I was just going over my list to do here. Speak to the scientist by the tree. She was kind of over... Over by the lodge, wasn't she? What's the scientist by the tree? Where the heck is she? You are the scientist by the tree. Why do I hear the tree making noises? Kelton Frush. I turn around. I'm sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. Bottom of what? Is something wrong? I heard security talking about you standing out by the tree. You seem to be staring at a tree. That's what had them concerned. I am not staring. I am analyzing. Ah. This is important xenobiological work. Wow. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. How so? Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Not one Look, bit. I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Uh, I like trees. I like trees. Um, if there's something in it for me, I would love to help. I'm curious. I'm thinking more about science and botany myself. I'd love to help. Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. You just want me to run around and scan biosensors? How many biosensors are there? And what does this have to do with the tree? It's kind of cool, though. It's, I don't step in the water. It's biohazardous. Is this two trees or one tree that grew this way? It's making noises. The tree's making noises, by the way. How many are there? Ten meters away. Okay. Wait a second, wait a second. Oh, it's not pinging on that. It's pinging on some... These are ranges. It's not telling me where the biosensor is. Two meters away. All right, well, let's go. It's over by the lodge. It can't be that far. I mean, it's a nice night, I guess. We can just kind of wander around, looking at biosensors, enjoying the nice evening after getting off my uh, my planet that had my house on it. It was that was miserable, miserable weather. Uh huh. Okay, at least I know what I'm looking for is an egg. Let's take. Locate the biosensor. Am I supposed to take these? Let's check the log. I need to collect sensors scattered around the city. Why can't I just scan them? Do I have to take them? Okay. I guess... I guess we'll just kind of run around and do that. Why can't I just scan them and send the data to them? Oh, this is making me sound... An now look at me. Did you take a laser to the knee? Yeah, 
Yeah, this that booster is pretty good. This one over this one. Before I get in the mass, maybe I should like the other one that's 100 meters away. I feel like I need to get a variety of medicines. But I don't know what works for what. Maybe I can just go back to relying and buy one of everything. Okay. Where's the next one? Running around, grabbing biosensors. Is this the best use of my time? Probably not, but we're gonna do it anyway. Is it, is that the only one? Is the mass? Where, where is, is there a, Okay, there's one in the residential and one in the commerce district. Okay. There's only two more. That's not too bad. It seems like the commerce district where look closely. I guess we just have to figure out I thought I went on the wrong side. Oh god, that thing is powerful. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis. Hi, Donna. Residential oh, district. Oh. Okay, that was not far next to that tree over there. Stuck in the tree. Okay, where's the last one at? I gotta get back on the mast. Or the Nat, the Nat, it's the Nat. Uh, these names, having so much trouble with names. Pioneer Tower, Reliant Medical, Connell Tower. Okay. Ah. Uh, Commerce District. I will admit it, it's an easy way to get around town. Oh, this is over by the SSNN building. I remember you. That's it. What is this place? Is this a... I don't know. We're over here. I, feel like I heard this... You see? It's not like doing what? Who's this? Hey. Hey. Are you looking for eggs too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? There... The, the egg you found wasn't beeping, was it? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. Miss Seng? She was the woman that is having problems with... Oh, God. Having problems with her systems and deliveries are behind. And I'm really curious what... No, it's not... Oh, it's... It's Whetstone. What is Whetstone? I... Is this a restaurant? What is this place? Welcome to Whetstone. Hi. If you're looking for the best cut of meat in the settled systems, look no further. What's a whetstone? Well, I know what a whetstone is. It's used to sharpen knives. The general term? A sharpening stone for knives. Yeah. The kind of knives that cut the most delicious meat in the settled systems. This whetstone, though, is the best restaurant you've ever eaten at. If you like a perfect steak, you're in the right place. Does all your food come from local sources? Why I'm asking this, I don't know. Or can I... Go out and kill things and bring them to you. <laughs> you must be joking. No, I'm not. I have an exclusive contract with the Trade Authority. 
It's all shipped in from off-world. And no, I'm not divulging the planet of origin. Can you tell me the Any animal? Time now. You're annoying. Can you tell me the animal of origin? I'm sure we'll see you again. It's a big building for just three tables. I'm just saying. You don't even know the animal of origin. Where does the food come from? Does it drop out of the ceiling? There's like no doors to the kitchen. I don't know. You see distribution. Jeez. Uh, how do I get back? I forgot. You got there a lot, right? We can't have those in this space. It would never work. Just do us all a favor. Never turn into one of those spacers. No. Nope. Scum of the galaxy. Nope. You see distribution was over this way. Whoa, that thing jumps high. What is this place? What is this place? Isn't it? Oh god, I'm in the water. Okay. I was just here. The horribly cheerful man with the fake smile is sitting out front. I was just here. Don't don't talk to me. Miss Sang. Please, if you experience any issues in your dealings with the distribution center, let us know. We're always striving to improve. I try not to, you know, interrupt you when they give me distributions. Something I can do for you? There was a kid. You bought an egg from a kid recently. I need it. Who, Jordan? Yeah. <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Well, that's Why? all what good and it? all. It's a sensitive scientific equipment. It's very important. Very important. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it. Plus, a little extra. A little extra? Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? Can't you just give it to me? I could, but I did pay for it. I'd like to recover my losses. And it's all the way in the back room. I'd have to walk back there, then back out here. You did say this was important after all. Honestly, it's probably worth way more than what we're talking about. Fine. I'm... Don't look so smug. Here's your money. Pleasure doing business with you. I will shoot you someday. I will shoot you all. You're always welcome back, if you don't mind a bit of a wait. Or a bit of a graft. I'm losing my enchantment with the UC very rapidly. Alright, I have completely forgotten where I'm supposed to be going. I guess we can, uh, that's right, Pascal Bank. Pass the mask. Pass the security bot. Yeah, I mean, it's all shiny and pretty and stuff, but I'm... There's something going on in this place. I don't trust... I mean, we already know that they were doing... Illegal xenobiology stuff. And now there's like corruption at every level. I don't, I'm not trusting this place. I appreciate your assistance, but I still need all of those sensors. I have all the sensors. I really do need that additional data. I've, I've got them all right here. Once considered an effect, I, don't, I have no idea what just happened there. What are you worried about here anyways? Recent scans of the tree have suggested that a significant portion of the interior has liquefied. Liquefied? Obviously, some small percentage of its internal workings is always liquid to allow for the transfer of nutrients and so forth, but this? Well, I've never seen anything like it. If it continues to increase, I'm concerned the entire tree may collapse. And I'm also worried about other 
secondary effects. Are we talking Day of the Triffid stuff? It's going to come alive and they're all going to become eating human eating machines. What do you mean by secondary effects? It's uh, too soon to speculate. I'd very much like to see the additional data before I say more. No, I, okay. Shouldn't this area be blocked out? You'll get to the bottom of this. I appreciate your confidence. I, I have no idea. I have no confidence. The sooner Sam. I have all the available data, the sooner I can make an assessment. Well, I've got your senses right here. You can do your work. So you do. Wonderful. Thank you. I'll just take these and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right. We'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. I'm waiting. And just another moment. I'm still waiting. It is working, isn't it? I have no idea. It's your machine. Ah, uh, there it is. A relief. Okay. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it, it's... Oh, my. Oh, my what? Uh, Bel... Kelton? Kelton? It's a good thing you brought the biosensors to me when you did. How so? Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. Bad news, day of the trip. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Uh, that doesn't sound like good news. It sounds like Day of the Triffids. Well, from a certain point of view. In an admittedly somewhat selfish manner. The bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. How so? In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be well, disastrous. That's not I good. We are talking day of the trip. At once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. So. The tree is emitting ultrasonic waves. Check out on Kelton later. Catastrophic for the city, he said. What are you wearing on your head? I don't know. Um, where's the lodge? Should I tell Constellation about this? You know, I went to chef school. I said exactly where I saw myself. Where? Yeah, we're in the right track here. Uh, should I tell them that the trees are going to come alive with ultrasonic waves and destroy the city? That seems like a good thing to tell them, don't you think? Oh, she's coming to talk to me. Your father dropped by. He left a note for you. Here. He's, he's right there. There are kids out there. Who are the people? Uh, he left a note. My dad left a note. He's standing right there. Can I just go talk to him? I need to pick up a note from dad. Dear Gray, it would, if you could stop by home, there's something I want to talk to you about. Nothing urgent. I would sure like to see you. Dad, um... Dad, I'm right here. There's just so much to do in New Atlantis. You're distracting me, Mom. You've been given a precious opportunity. Seize it and never look back. If I go to your house now, will you meet me there instead of hanging out in the lobby? I hope you don't mind, but I figured the lodge was just a gnat stop away. I just had to see it. Oh, this place is everything I imagined. Do you know I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? 
time we've had this conversation. You're welcome anytime. And I mean any time. Okay. I figured I it would be years to meet until him. I saw you. It's been ages since and Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Ask if you've Just got questions. Go easy on him. Speak up Being if you have ideas. By a kid. Uh, We're all exactly here for the same the reason. Uh, I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. This does I not thought well. Sam Co was. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Yeah. I thought you were in Freestar Collective. <clears throat> you must be Sam Co. I'm. I heard you're unique. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm going to fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Hi. Um, glad to meet you, Cora. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. It's okay. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? What? Eh. Only that it was in Freestar Collective space? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Freestar Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, cowboy. Um, I'm... I'm not ready to go. I just came here because Sarah felt like she wanted to go on some adventures. I was going to pick her up, take her and Bosco out and do some things in the frontier and make some money. But... Anything I should know about Aquila if I decide to go there myself? Yeah, don't piss off the Freestar Rangers. Ah. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. Good. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. That's always good life advice anyway. So, yeah, I'm still getting my bearings. We'll head out later, okay? I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. I feel like I've been waiting my whole life for this. Gotcha. The constellation, the artifacts. That okay. doesn't sound crazy, Dad, does it? I'm gonna go to your house. We can have our talk there. Constellation sounds magical. Where's Sarah? Like a storybook. I just saw Sarah. Sarah! Come back! Lately, I, I find myself spending more and more time. Sarah. Yes? Business has appealed to me, but this uh... is exciting. Are you ready to head back out? Um... I don't... Should I... Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. Basco's no longer following you. Sarah Morgan's active. Okay, Sarah will follow me. Vasco was assigned to the ship. How do I check my ship again? Crew. Vasco is assigned to the ship. Sarah is unassigned. If I assign her to the frontier, or she's just going to follow me around anyways, right? But now Vasco will be able to add to his shield systems Electromagnetic weapon systems and a neutronic fusion to the ship at all times. And it'll be there to protect it. So I'll have Sarah with me with her very high laser skill. Good thing I've given her a laser. Can I? I almost want to. I, I want to be able to see inside the ship in this view, you know? I feel like I want to be able to look inside. And there isn't any way of doing so. The value on the ship is 56,000. Gotcha. Okay. All right, Sarah's following me, which is what our intention is. We're gonna go to Dad's house. And I 
don't mean work. I mean it's a problem. Alright, this is Pioneer Tower. Family of Hardness. I think we're on the right track here. This looks familiar. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're not here. Yeah, there's tissue and toilet paper all over the floors. Um, and there's a case. Have they been to Costco? All right, Sarah, come on. Why is the vase here? place is a mess. Come on, Sarah. You know, maybe my parents are just strange. Let's go see if we, you know, they want to talk to us one last time. And then we'll find other things to do. I can't think of a better place to recharge and ready ourselves for our next mission. We haven't gone on, on this mission. I've right. got lifetimes worth of books and videos to occupy me. So don't worry about me. I hope you don't mind, but I figured the lodge was just a gnat stop away. I just had to see it. Oh, this place is everything I imagined. Do you know I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? I don't know if I go that far. But I'll let your father talk before he bursts. I was playing poker with the ah, Dean of Engineering, we go. and he had this collectible revolver framed. And when he heard you were in Constellation... Well, we work together to get the piece clean and restored. Ooh! She fires beautifully now. We, uh, uh took turns sighting it at the range. You and Mom? I swear, your father was acting like a school kid. <clears throat> As I was saying... As you're saying. I present to you Sir Malcolm Livingston's personal sidearm. No way! All the special modifications just as he left him. Ooh! He was chair of Consolation about, uh, 50 years ago. Anyway... It's yours. How did you get this? All right. Uh, you really shouldn't have. It must have caused a fortune. Well, I am paying for it. So I guess I bought it myself. Sir Malcolm Livingston, who was he? Uh, let's. Who is Livingston? Tell me who he was. Maybe you're a history professor. I bet you know all about him. Tell me about him. Well, I'm no expert, but he was some sort of wealthy entrepreneur. Near the end of his life, he grew fascinated with space. He wound up being a benefactor of Constellation and shared it before he died. The stories make him seem colorful. I think I'd like him. Okay. Uh, it, re it really should have. It must have cost a fortune. Well, I paid for it, didn't I? It was a gift. The Dean and I go way back. And he's a bit of a fan of Constellation. Okay. So it was just I don't a feel so bad now that my mother... My well, money's going into weird things. We'll get back to it, but uh, Miss uh, Noel said we could look around a little first. If if Noel says it's Ms. fine, Noel, would it be all right if I brought cookies next time? Oh God, they're gonna bake. Actually, Mister Cookies, what type? I make a mean snickerdoodle. Oh God. Yes, I um think that would be quite all right. <sighs> all right, Sarah. Let's let's take a look. What did he give me? Um. Uh. Sir Livingston's. Hey, it's a 1911. Large magazine, high velocity, 31 damage. Fire rate 67. I mean, the advanced regulator only fires at a rate of 18, but it does 110. Livingston's pistol. Can I add more mods to it? Let's take a look. Yeah. Okay. All right. And how do I... Okay. I guess I can go into photo mode, but I mean... Yeah, it works. Feel it's... free to help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but... I feel like if I did, now would be a good time for one. Yeah, I, I probably need a drink after realizing I'm wearing a gold LeMay spacesuit. Hey, it's really protected. Okay, Sarah, 
we figured out what mom and dad want. Finally. And they're gonna make cookies for next time. So let's go and and do something. Um I have a note to talk to Sergeant Yumi. Do you know who he is? Hey. Hey. Um no, I guess now. you don't have anything on Sergeant Yumi. I don't know who he is. Perhaps we should go look. So come on, let's go talk to Sergeant. I don't I have no idea why. I don't know where I got a note to talk to Sergeant Yumi, but we will go talk to him. Where is this Sergeant Yumi, I wonder? So I have no idea where this person is. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to my, there we go. Sergeant, I don't know why I'm doing this every time. Sergeant Yumi. I couldn't figure out where it was on the map, I'm sorry. So we're just kind of following our nose. We're following the scanner. Talk to Sergeant Yumi. Oh God, I always do this. Hang on. Oh God. Our whole office is getting moved to Gagarin. Really? We have to take the gnat again. To the spaceport. Right now. Sergeant Yumi is in the spaceport? Did we talk to somebody in the spaceport? I've flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the gnat. Yeah, and you get sick from chunks. You've really got a weak stomach. Sergeant Yumi. Oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's it's very tall. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Sergeant Yumi. Contrary huh. to what you might have heard, you see security per. Why do I need to talk to you, Sergeant Yumi? Sara, good to see you. Listen, I uh, smoothed over that incident between Matteo and Rosa at the Sanctum. I'd hardly call it an incident, more of a debate, really. But I appreciate it just the same. Not a problem. Uh, in the meantime, maybe you could tell him to take it down a notch. Can do. Thanks again, Sergeant. Well, that's an interesting interaction. What was Matteo up to? Is he getting drunk and rowdy at the bar or something? Sergeant Yumi, I have a note to come talk to you. Well, hello. You hear about the job by any chance? Uh, the officer over there can help you with any bounty issues. I'm not here to talk. Uh, is this... Oh, they want me to come talk to you about a job. I see. I see. Can't say that I am. I've got enough to do right now. Totally understand. But if you're looking to make some credits and serve the United Colonies at the same time, you just let me know. Okay, that's the problem with the with the log system. Sometimes you get messages and you don't know what it's for. Yeah, you know, we're here at the bartender, so let's let's go talk to the bartender at the view. I have a note that the view is over here. I heard that from the very early on about coming to talk to the bartender from listening to the cops. And we could also spend a little time kind of seeing who else is here Whoa. as far as Excuse me. other people. Astrodynamic specialist, I've got one. Marika Boros? Hey there, you look like the planet hopping type. Got any room on your ship for someone like me? Uh, shotgun, ballistics, Particle beam weapons. No, I don't think uh, so. I guess that's goodbye then. Yep. Uh, safe travels. Yeah, yeah, uh, not happening. Uh, hey. Defensive system specialist. Gideon Aker. You don't look like a spacefaring kind of guy. You know, I was just mentioning you to someone. Oh, not this again, Nissa. I'm fine. I really am. I'm just saying. 
None of those rocks you spent time digging up are going to keep you warm at night. I'm just looking out for you. I, I, I'm, I'm warm enough, but thank you. Are she trying to set you up with someone, Sarah? Hope life is treating you well. Maybe but you could go on a date, find out who it is. Maybe it's that guy over there. Nissa Marcano, I heard you talking to Sarah. You had a problem? Hey there. Hi. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? Mm, yeah, I made a little stopover before, but I am sort of new. Is it because I'm wearing a helmet and a gold lame spacesuit? <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. I didn't. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice. Know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you, new guy? New guy. Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Uh, this is, seems to be booming for you. Yep, spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, yeah, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous, galaxy wide. Um, depends on what's in it. I mean. Almost every drink's been concocted by one way or another through drunken college kids just throwing stuff in a glass. Depends on what's in it. Well, at the moment, it's what's not in it that's an issue right now. I don't have everything for the recipe. I made a deal with a holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship... Less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. Uh, sounds like you go talk to security, see if you can get what's yours. Sounds like the sort of thing that you could drive one to drink, but I'm bummed. Could you just order more of whatever you need? That makes the most sense. <laughs> yes. What with all these extra credits cluttering up the place? Why didn't I think of that? I thought you had the Sorry. booming business. Snark isn't helpful. This stuff was pricey to get a hold of the first time. Gotcha. Uh I'll I'll go talk to security and see what we can do. I submitted all the paperwork, believe me. It won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really? I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just, I think it is. So you're not sure. I need sure. to get my hands on that cargo. Why does that have an ominous tone to it? Yeah, why does it have an ominous tone to it? I mean, doing something about this won't exactly be on the straight and narrow, will it? Ooh. I could try to give you a helping hand. And see what we can do? I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else... Uh oh. I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh, with me on this? Surely you're not seriously considering this course of action. The last thing we need is UC security on our backs. I'm in. Who do I need to kill? I'm... You're a friend of Sarah's, but she's really not on board with this. I I'll do whatever I can, okay? I'll, I'll try to help you out, but I don't want UC security all over my backs, okay? Is that is that a deal? God, you have no idea what a relief this is. Sarah dislikes that. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. Uh... Do you have any information to go off of? I know a few things, but not much. 
That's not helpful. The cargo is being held down at the spaceport, not in the security office. Still, they use the same access cards. If you had one, it'd work. How or why you would have a UC security access card is none of my business, of course. I'm sure I'm better off not knowing. Beyond that, the ship decks over there might also be able to get in. I don't know any of them, or I'd be talking to them instead of you. No uh, offense. What have you tried already? Maybe that'll give me a starting point. Like I said, I submitted the usual security release forms. But because my cargo is tied up with a bunch of, again, totally unrelated illegal stuff, I don't expect the forms to matter. At all. I went and talked to an officer at the office, too. You, me. Sergeant, maybe? I just talked to him. He was polite, but unhelpful. I declined to suggest that as their new slogan. New Atlanta security. Polite, but unhelpful. Truth in advertising, eh? Yeah? I'll, I'll, I'll try and figure something out that's not so illegal. How about that? I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, oh, of course God, not. It'll this be fine. Woman. Totally fine. I, I trust you. How do I get what... How do I... How do I get you what you need? I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages We already or said that. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. Okay. See you around. Sarah. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know you would be upset with that. I really am. Yeah. Okay, you don't have Until any. Until later. Or you don't have anything for me. I'm a little concerned about this. Okay, let's let's just go talk to security first. See if Sergeant Yumi has a way of maybe trying to convince him to help us. Or was there was UC security office? See if there's anything he wants to know. Sergeant Yumi. I'm back. Back again. Are you interested in the job by any chance? No. Just tell me what I need to do. Not, not, not right now. No. Uh, thank you. I appreciate the interest. If you change your mind, please don't hesitate to come back. Have a good day. I've got a, here we go. I got a friend who needs something from storage at the spaceport. Fred, I can't help you. That's locked up for a reason. If your friend files the proper paperwork, we'll make sure that property is returned. Assuming it's deemed legal, of course. What if it's not? Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, we gave it a shot. We told her we'd try. And for your benefit, I'm not going to to do anything illegal. All right, Sarah, I've got an idea. I want to go ahead and... How about you want to just space jump around and, and look at the rest of the planet? I've never been to Jemison before, so maybe going there might be a good idea. Let's let's do that. Let's jump in the... in the frontier and, and go. How about that? 